just normal. Oh my god! Now, welcome back everybody to the channel again, and whoa, what can I say? I've spent an obscene amount of money on an add-on plane again for the flight simulator, once again indeed. And whoa, what can I say? It is this add-on plane right here. The very brand new Hot Start Challenger 650 for the X-Plane flight simulator for a price of $115. Yes, I mean, only recently I talked about the Eni Bills A310 that I bought for $120, and... Yeah, I buy about this one as well. And well, in today's video, let me just try to um, justify the price I paid for this interesting add-on plane here. Because I think that this plane right here, the Challenger 650 from Bombardier, is literally the most realistic flight simulator experience we've ever had, ever. Nothing has ever come this close when it comes to the simulation of the whole aircraft system. It is absolute... I mean, seriously, this plane is... Before we begin reviewing this, I have to say this. This plane is ridiculously realistic. We've literally reached the point of ridiculousness. I mean, there is so many things you can do. Just before we, you know, just start off, you know, with the flying of the Zero plane right here. I mean, just start off with the de-icing. Start de-icing. Here we go. We can now see this de-icing unit right here, and we can sit ourselves into the de-icing cab. Here we go. I mean, we're in the south of France at Le Mole Airport. But, you know, this is just crazy. I mean, we can literally see the de-icing fluid on our wing. Look at this. Look, look, look at this. I've never seen such a thing before. But the real detail of this aeroplane definitely comes when we start getting into the cockpit of this Challenger 650. I mean, it does not look all too crazy. Of course, of course, all the switches work. And we're going to talk, talk about that later on. But it's just crazy how much realism there is also here in the actual cabin of this interesting plane. Of course, this is a private jet, not that big of a private jet. You know, there are, of course, bigger ones. But, we you know, we can sit down right here, pretend like we're... We have got our life together. Don't know. We can move on though as well. We can we can actually enter the toilet as well. We can literally sit down everywhere. We can just spend our flight here if we want to. And well, we can of course spend some time here also in the toilet of the Zerp, but we can even sit down here. I mean, there's even a mirror here. But of course, since we are a vampire here in the flight simulator, we do not show up. But this is it. You know, yes, indeed. Just the cabin here, the cockpit in general, everything here is just ridiculously realistic. I mean, also opening the door. Of course, you have to all do it by hand, which is um, a story for itself. I don't even know how to do that. So, yeah, help. There's this handle right here. I guess we have to use that. Yes. Yes. Good! Now it's falling down, my god! Why is this so- <laughs> that is so, so crazy! So yes, everybody, let's go ahead and now actually perform a little bit of a flight here. Where I can demonstrate how realistic this plane actually is. Now, <clears throat> I will not fly this plane with the checklists that are included right here. Uh, but that's another story. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and start with the battery first of all. But, I mean, I do kind of remember how to fly like a Bombardier plane. You know, I, li I like Bombardier planes quite a bit because, I, you know, the systems, they are actually quite straightforward. So, good, let's go ahead and have this. Let's go ahead and turn on the APU. This should be working fine. Turn on all the fuel pumps here as well already. This is not how, at all how you would start up a real challenger, I think. But the thing is, what does kind of scare me about this plane is that, well, if I press the wrong button, do a wrong procedure, literally the systems can easily break. I mean, okay, let me just give you a little bit of an insight of what this whole flight simulator model gives you in terms of realism. I mean, what is GSE? I have no idea. I mean, let's go ahead and check out the GPS. I don't know. It literally simulates the GPS systems. I talked to my flight instructor about this. He also has this out on and he was so amazed by this working. Look at this. It, 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 this is crazy. Literally all the in-flight systems that no one really here would probably understand watching this video work here in this plane. You know, things like, uh... Inertial navigation. This is just absolutely crazy. Look at this. And this is what I mean by ridiculousness. Literally, we can see so many things that I have no idea of, actually. This is just crazy. And the thing is also as well, I mean, if we go into the failure options right here, of course, yes, this plane has its own failure menu. <laughs> and we can literally fail the most random stuff. ACU auto temperature controller fault or cabin air filter blocked. What? What kind of realism is that? I mean, we have so many things that we can, you know, fail here with this aeroplane. Hydraulic pump 2B. 
What? Fire protection, whatever. We can have environment. We can have a very realistic bird strike with the windshield shattering. Yes, we were going to do that, definitely. But anyway, let's go ahead and focus back on just starting up this plane. Now, the inertial navigation system is aligning or something like that. I hope it's working. Uh, here's the position and listenization. Things like, I have no idea how to fly this aeroplane, actually. <laughs> Good. Uh, does this work? No idea. This is definitely a plane that will take a little bit of a while to get studied into. I think in this video, I'm not even going to be able to focus on, like, half of the features that this has. But anyway, let's go ahead and try to start up this further. I have... No idea what I'm doing, but I think it works. I got the thing. Good. You know what? Let's already actually work on starting up the engines of the Zero plane. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, uh, turn the EPU bleed on. I think that should work quite well to get the engine started. There we go. It's open. And so let's go ahead and try to get the ignition working. Does this work? Come on. Start. Oh, 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 yes. There we go. It's starting up right here. We can we can see it on the screen. Damn, I, 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 I like this screen. Let's go ahead and then there we go. We've given it some fill. Let's go ahead and also turn on the left engine. And there we go. Nicely starting up. Let's give it some nice good fuel flow there. We've got some more things that the plane is kind of pissed off about. Let's go ahead and turn the window heat on, which would probably be here, all the anti-icing. And now, well, what can I say? We just started up the engine. Still waiting for the RS to align. I have no idea how to fly this plane, by the way. Doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and hop into the pilot seat. Of course, we have this heads up display, which nicely works just like it does in real life it's just uh ridiculous by the way great and oh oh actually yeah there we go the irs has finally aligned itself perfectly the plane is ready for flying it's one of the generators right here this is perfect and by the way what i find super interesting is the fact that literally there is a more ray effect on the lcd display I mean, literally, I've not seen this before in the flight simulator. I hope you can see it on YouTube because mostly YouTube likes to, you know, iron out these kind of details. But there's a more ray effect. That's just crazy. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and actually now try to fly this aeroplane. Good. All right, give it a little bit of power. But oh, no, as you can see, we're not moving. Why would that be? Oh, man, this plane is quite loud, actually. Damn. Well, the reason behind that is all well, the chocks are still set. Well, how do we get them unset? We have to do some hand signals towards the ground crew. Chalks out. Like in real life, that's great. And after a few seconds, I guess the ground crew will have removed them. Please. Yes, there we go. We have a thumbs up. And now the plane is taxiing nicely. Let's go ahead now. Actually got onto the runway, put our flaps out. And now we can finally fly off, everybody. This is great. Oh, we're in the grass. We can literally feel that ground effect of the grass. This is crazy. All right, come on. Ooh. Sorry, heads up display more literally inside of you. That's great. Oh, come on. Now take off. Full power. Yes. Okay, let's go ahead and take off here from this La Mole airport. Very nice private jet airport. We go on 20 knots. Let's go ahead and rotate here out of this place. And my God, this does fly absolutely beautifully. I don't even know what to say, man. Uh, I'm about to cry. I mean, again, I spent $120 on this, but this is just absolutely crazy. Let's go ahead and put the landing gear up. Looking good. I mean, look, look at the animation here. Look, look at the, look at the detail here in this. Look, 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 look. Again, I'm trying to justify spending $120 to myself, basically, but this isn't their story. Look at this aeroplane. And again, look at all the systems working here. We can literally see while we're flying the GPS satellite position tracker. This is literally all the GPS satellites in the sim. How does it do that? I've never seen that before. It's just ridiculous. Engines. Left engine state. Is it doing well? Oh my god. This is literally... This was made for studying jet engines look at this it's just crazy look at all the temperatures how does my computer by the way not explode i just want to mention that as well i mean that's actually a big selling point of this um flight simulator add-on that it has very good performance 27 frame okay that's actually not all that good but considering what kind of systems are running here this is just absolutely crazy so let's go ahead and <clears throat> we're by the way a little bit fast let's go ahead and now actually play around with well what i find most interesting about this plane the failure you know we're all just failures i mean we can trigger a bird strike let's, uh do that we can have a non damaging bird strike what's that do oh bird strike indeed great but it didn't do any damage that's great to see now we can have some more bird strike a windshield chatter how about that trigger just no oh my god 
Great! We have broken her windshield. Now, I think here in this plane, I mean, we're at quite a low altitude, but I think in real life, we would have some pressurization problems. So maybe like a kind of a, like an Air China kind of thing, or whatever that case was. Uh, but uh, we don't have any effects of those here. Let's go ahead and actually initiate, though, an engine fire. Because, you know, the engine systems are just crazily detailed. So let's go ahead and do this here. Left engine failure. Uh, right engine failure. Good. Good. Yeah. Oh my god, can you hear that noise? Can you hear that noise? Is that the rammer turbine coming out? Is that... Was that the rammer tur... What was that noise? I think it was the rammer turbine. Something like that. I don't even know how this plane works. This is crazy. I mean, the thing is... Uh, yeah, all the systems, the in-flight systems are back. Yes, indeed. This is just absolutely crazy. Again, though, we've lost our engine. We might just want to focus on that. We're... Things we cannot just jump out. We're not Trevor Jacob. But what we can do is land at an airport. We've got one down here. Let's... Try to get an emergency landing done very quickly. Good. Now, of course, since we still have all our systems right here, we can nicely fly our plane. By the way, I've just noticed this plane is a little bit loud right here, so let's put on our pilot's headset. <laughs> Look at the level of detail here. We've literally lost sound. Where's the airport, by the way? Oh, it's right there. All right, you know what? Let's... It's going to be a little bit of a hard landing. Let me just try to... Yeah, Try to get this going. Come on. Runways down here. Ah, this is gonna go somewhat well. Get rid of this damn heads up display. Alright, here we go. Landing coming up. Yeah, let's get to some speed. Welcome back to Professionally Flying with Swiss 01. That's been a very great emergency landing right here. Not at all over running into grass. This has been great. My god, though, the level of realism. By the way, this is not how I would have flown a plane in real life, but I just wanted to mention that in, as well. So, yes, everybody, my friends of ridiculous realism. Is this plane worth it for the price? Yes. This is, like, crazy. There's so much I haven't covered in this video. There's a little FBO that is in this plane, right? You know, that owns the plane. And I don't actually regret buying this. So, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, as always. Good night. Now, thank you to all my members here on YouTube, like Spice, Robbie, Middle Aged, Levi, Junk in the Trunk, Mubarak, Darren K, Oh Man, Moritz, John, Kelly Chaos, Death Rider, uh, Ragings, Noah, Yes Aviation, Producers are One, Saturn, Cat, Sunno, Shadow, New, New York, and Jackie Boy.